This is Witchbase News for Friday the 14th of April 2023 ...I'm Commander Burr. An Elite Dangerous news this week. Frontier's CM team are taking Elite Dangerous to the Science Museum in London and you can join them. Tickets to this years Elite Community Meet go on sale, there's some more top tier guidance on unlocking Guardian equipment and after an accidental post on Galnet News we get a glimpse at what could have been. As always if you enjoy our videos please do hit the like button and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and click the little bell so you don't miss any of our Elite Dangerous content. And if you'd like to help directly support our work here at the pit you can also join our Patreon. Links to that and everything else are below. You may remember last week we featured the infographic guides to unlocking and obtaining Guardian modules and weapons created by Commander Radium IO. If you missed it they're linked below this video again for you. This week that valuable work has been supplemented and added to very nicely by Commander Greybeard Seawolf who is creating pictorial guides to activating specific Guardian sites. The images are clearly labelled and carry a key identifying all the points of interest whilst giving clear instructions on what to hit at the site, in what order and what to look out for in the way of potential threats as well as how to deal with those threats. Whilst Greybeard's guides are linked to specific Guardian locations the information contained in them and the sites layouts are largely transferable to just about any Guardian digging that you might be doing so should prove useful no matter what site you find yourself at. The images which are presented in the style of aerial reconnaissance photos are being posted to Greybeard's profiles on Twitter and Mastodon which you'll find linked below this video. This kind of information is always useful to have to hand so it's definitely worth bookmarking it all even if you're not planning to use it right away. It's interesting I think that Guardians and all things Guardian are seemingly very much on the forefront of commanders minds at the moment. I'm curious to know if this particular Elite Dangerous zeitgeist moment will ultimately lead anywhere. Just a heads up the Hutton Truckers announced last night that tickets for this years Elite Community Meet being held on the 19th of August 2023 at the Hilton St Anne's Manor Hotel in Wokingham are now on sale. Priced at £25 the tickets include a buffet lunch and entry to the main hall between 10am and midnight. The event will be raising money for the charities special effect and hearing dogs for deaf people and whilst it's not obligatory should you wish to stay at the hotel hosting the event then the team have managed to negotiate a special preferential rate for the events attendees. You'll find links to the Elite Dangerous Community Meet website and social media feeds in the description below this video if you want to bag yourself some tickets. Frontier Developments announced yesterday that their community team are attending an exhibition at the Science Museum in London and taking Elite Dangerous along with them. The exhibition called Science Fiction Voyage to the Edge of Imagination is about the history of science fiction in popular culture and its influence on real science and features props from shows such as Star Trek, Star Wars and Doctor Who. The exhibition actually runs at the Science Museum in South Kensington in London until the 20th of August this year but in part celebration of Star Wars Day and the exhibition recently receiving an extension to its limited run it'll be hosting an evening of special events on the 4th of May this year. And it's that specific event that Frontier and Elite Dangerous will be present at. If you want to get along to the evening celebration then you'll find the Science Museum website linked in the description below this video. In case you missed it there's been a community goal running for the last week in the live game centred around the assassination of the former CEO of the Federation aligned Kane Massey mining company Johan Fleischer. Fleischer's assassination was reported on Galnet on the 4th of April and circumstantial evidence at the time linked the killing to the owner of rival corporation Torval Mining, Senator Zamina Torval. 
As Zemina Torval's title clearly states, she is a member of the Imperial Senate and the apparent assassination of a Federation aligned CEO by an Imperial aligned company headed by an Imperial Senator immediately raised tensions leading to the outbreak of a proxy Imperial Federation conflict between the two corporations in the Tavagi system. When this Thursday rolled around bringing with it the traditional weekly cycling of community goals and events the outcome of the conflict was a close run affair with both factions only reaching the second of their identical goals. The Federation faction however had marginally more bonds handed in on its behalf and so it won the war. The Galnet news story that accompanies the federal successes in the conflict states that, as a result of their win, Federation forces were able to take control of the Imperial megaship the Orchestral Falcon at which point the assassin was handed over. The story, still leaving the reader with the impression that whilst the evidence is still circumstantial the Feds still believe Torval was responsible. What is particularly interesting however is that at the same time the Galnet news story broke declaring the Feds as the winners, Frontier accidentally also released the Galnet news story that they'd intended to publish had the conflict instead gone in favour of the Empire and not the Feds. In that version of events it's fairly apparent that Torval is not the culprit and that Whilst the individuals motives are not yet fully understood, the Empire are just as keen to get to the bottom of it as are the Feds. Is it possible that a force or forces unknown are attempting to stoke the furnaces of war between the Federation and the Empire? Will we now see a similar setup where the Federation are implicated as aggressors toward the Empire further pouring fuel on the fire and inciting combustion? It honestly doesn't sound too difficult of a task as Imperial Federation relations are always somewhat of a tinderbox even when they are getting along. But if someone is attempting to set them at each others throats then who are they and what do they seek to gain from such a conflict? A conflict, let's not forget, that would, at the moment at least, be taking place against the backdrop of an all out invasion of the bubble by an aggressive alien species. Will you be heading to the science museum to see Elite Dangerous and the Frontier Community Team? Do you think the Guardians and their AI are yet to be important to Elite's future? And if it isn't the Imperials or the Feds just who do you think has the means and something to gain from their squabbling? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.